What is up guys, it's your Grandpa the Grace here and we're back again with another unboxing video. This one is a really special one because as you may know, uh, judging by my collection, Ertl is not so common in my country. So therefore, I'm really really thrilled and excited when I find an Ertl item on uh, for sale in my country. Which means there are also other circumstances which could uh, how should I say that? Could make my plan fail on buying it. I guess that's good. Yeah. And this one was also like that. Yeah. Uh, this one was sold in a lot without postage and it was really far away from me. And I had to quote unquote hmm back for it maybe yeah but eventually the lady uh, made up her mind and gave it to me and we uh, agreed on a price so it's here now so let's open it and let's see what it is oh what the this wasn't really taped up was it oof it was really uh, easy to open it up all right but here he is it's an Ertl spiteful brick van. And I found this in a lot on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, yeah. Oof. Oh, what is that? Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. The wheels are shoved in. Uh, I'm really fortunate that this model is uh, held up with screws so I don't have to drill him out in order to get the wheels back into place because I can see the axle supports are still there they're not they're not broken off or anything so the wheel is just uh, accidentally there I don't know if it was because of the post office like the post uh, <clears throat> the postal crew and postal uh, companies in in my country are really really rough with the packages and they throw them around and they throw other big things on them so I really really hope every time that nothing happened to my uh, item which I ordered so yeah once there was a lady wait it was twice actually who packed up my 2013 Caitlyn which I replaced by that time it's at the, it's at the Chlord now and uh, 2011 <clears throat> uh, Take and Play Reneas and a Take and Play 2013 Toby, which I bought for replacements, and they were all just in a bag in a random box. And they rattled all over it. Reneas was missing a literal screw. Good thing I have some screws uh, extra for my face swaps, and you know, like the. Most of the faces are held together with screws, but I don't have to use those screws because mo most of the molds of the faces are not not equal to the other ones so I can't uh, screw them back to the smoke box they have to be taken apart uh, sandpapered and then glued up to the smoke box to fit so then I have a bunch of extra screws fortunately I could give two for Reneus because yeah you may ask that if he was missing two he wouldn't have been together yeah he was because Reneus and maybe all of the narrow gauge engines have a little screw as well in the cab, like inside the cab from the other side, which I guess holds the running board in place. I think I never took them apart from that because that wasn't necessary for customizing. But yeah, eventually like that. And uh, it was missing at that as well. But it had the front screw which held it together, but I was really, really annoyed. And I was trying to get uh, the get the money back, but she didn't send it. She fucking blocked me on Facebook <laughs> because I wanted to, wanted a refund of this because it's obvious. Uh, how should I say? Not caring about what you do. Uh, I have no idea how to say that, but I guess you you know what I mean. All right. Uh, I can see it's in really, it's fairly good condition. I mean, yeah, the middle is plastic. I can feel like these things are uh, metal. I thought only the top was metal, though. thought this was like one piece and the top was a different piece, like when Rebecca, but no, these places, and even the face is metal. 
which I don't know if I should like or not because then it's painted well it's molded together so it would be painted either way but from brown not from metal color but at least the eyebrows are not bad I don't have to fix anything on those so yeah Uh, it was made yeah this is a really really latest one of the latest brittle models there uh, it was made in 2002 the 166 day of 2002 so yeah this is a really it's a bit older one or what not older newer one which came out but the but the licensing says 2001 so I guess he came out in 2002 I have no idea yeah he has a new coupling system definitely so that makes sense I guess oh yeah the coupling well I'm a bit more fortunate because some of the some of the people who get like uh, couplings like this including my friend uh, Western Engine 11 his uh, spiteful brake vans coupling is completely broken off at least mine is just cracked in half so I just have to glue the pieces back together and they're good to go I thought of uh, making him magnetic because that's how he's functional but that would be sacrificing this rare item so I'm not gonna do that so yeah, I thought it was bigger though. Like I know Erdels are a bit smaller than Take Along Taken Place, but he's even smaller than Duke. Man, oh, sorry, the Grace. Yeah, this is the Grace. This is custom. You can see this is my OC. The special about these OCs is that they are pretty much the same as the original character, but they're royalized. Yeah, it's like the Lord and the Grace and Westy as well. So yeah, that's my cruise. Uh, should I say signature? Yeah, my cruise signature is that royalizing these characters, like the royal family, of course. But yeah, it's not about us now. It's about this spiteful break fan. Yeah, I'm gonna fix this and I'm gonna come back. Just a moment. All right, guys. Now I'm back. I fixed him. Well, it wasn't a moment because I ate my breakfast and I hit up the boys with that I got him and also, yeah. But oh well, whatever. I'm here now. Alrighty. Uh, what can I say? I'm really happy. <laughs> I'm really happy about this thing. This is my third Erdl exclusive item. And I by, my, by that I mean he was only released in Erdl in diecast form. Because I know, in general, he was released in Wooden Railway, and I don't know the other ranges, but I know Wooden Railway for sure he was released. But that was a pretty inaccurate one, because it had NW here, while he had no, he had nothing on the sides. So this is more accurate, but this is still not that accurate, because it's brown. I think he was gray, as I remember. Yeah, I think he was gray in the TV series. Well, let me check that out, actually. Let me check it out. Yep, he indeed was gray, but uh, I was wrong a moment ago because the Wooden Railway one is Railway Series accurate then. That had the NW logo on it. I never knew that actually. But it's still not accurate because that should have a meshed in face and the, most of the merch is ripped based on the TV series, which are not Railway Series exclusive characters of course, but yeah. So... Nah, I'm not gonna sue learning curve for that. I sue learning curve enough for take along. Whatever. Alright. Alright everyone. This was my review of the Erdl Spiteful Brake Fan. Now I'm gonna go and play with him some more. Ha <laughs> ha. I hope you enjoy oh, I, hope... Oh, I can't even talk. I hope you all enjoyed it. This was Sir Grandpa the Grace, signing out. Peace.